Welcome back. Well, freedom of speech has been top of mind over the last day. And so in tonight's Utah Success Stories, our sponsored segment, our ABC4 Doug Jessup spotlights a man that worked with freedom fighters wanting to give their war-torn country that same kind of access, that freedom of speech. When was the last time you thought about freedom of speech and freedom of the press? You may not agree with everything, but you have access to information, and information is power. Here's a sneak peek of an in-depth online interview from a man that helped start the only TV network owned and operated not by the government, but by the independent people of Afghanistan. So on January 18th, 2010, I flew into Kabul in the middle of the night on a landing strip that had no lights to build a television channel that would taunt the Taliban with good programming, uh, knowing that the people I was about to work with were already targets of the Taliban for what they were about to do. These were a group of 20-something young men. Uh, one of them had been to uh, university in Tehran. Another had been in journalism school in Egypt. And their families were well enough off to send these, their boys off to other places to get them out of the war zone. But these young men were so courageous, they said, no, we're coming back to make a difference. They could have gone uh, into politics or done other things, but with the support of their families, the financial support and the, and the moral support, uh, they were prepared to take on the Taliban in this new way that didn't exist in Afghanistan. At the time, 2010, most of Afghanistan had no electricity. Most people didn't have television sets because the Taliban would kill your family if they saw a dish on your roof. So television hadn't developed there the way it had in other countries. And especially some television made by Afghans for Afghans, it had to be done from scratch. Game shows, news, public affairs. We had the first Oprah of Afghanistan, her name was Mujda. We had a show called Kabul Debates, where the audience were university students, and on the stage was a Taliban and an American general and a politician from, from Afghanistan. Today, that channel is thriving and doing well. And our young people have all done fine. Consider this your personal invitation to watch the rest of the interview, along with more stories, on demand at abc4.com slash journal. I'm Doug Jessup, ABC4 News. And if you want to see other Utah success stories or if you want to nominate a business for Doug to profile, just go to our website, abc4.com slash success. We will be right back.